Hey everyone, this is Tom from Factory Underground Tech. In today's video, I'm going to cover automation. Let's get started. So here we have our drum session. I'm gonna play it once for you so you can take a listen. Now you can probably hear in the drums, you hear like a woo 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 sound, which is just the toms ringing and other bleed that are in those tom mics that we don't need. Let me solo them out so you can hear the difference. These are just the tom mics soloed. So that's just bleed and tom ring that we don't need because he's not hitting the drum at that moment. So what we're gonna do is automate all of that stuff out. So first we'll start with Tom 1. I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now you can either hold option to zoom in and pull down or you can use the arrows on this side over here. Now to get to our automation window, you can either select the automation button at the top or you can hit A and that'll be the quick key for your automation. Now I'm gonna first click on this channel and a yellow line is going to appear. This is what we're gonna to use to automate. So for me, I like to zoom right into where my drums are. Let's listen to Tom one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my marquee tool, which I use as my center tool. I'm gonna to highlight where the Tom hits are. Make a click. Now I'm going to pull down the left side and I'm now going to pull down the right side. Now all that should be left is the tom hits. Now I don't like that abrupt cut, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it a curve so it sounds like the natural decay of your tom drum. So we're going to zoom in a little more. Get this right up to where the tom hits. And now I'm going to make a couple extra points and make a curve. Something like that is fine for now. We're going to pull these curves down. And all you have to do to make that happen is literally grab one of the buttons you make and pull it down until you get the desired curve you're looking for. probably something like so. Now as well, I'm gonna highlight by clicking off of the lines that's created and dragging my cursor over it, I can then highlight it white. And anything that's white, I can drag left or right. And in my case, I'm gonna drag it more to the left. And this is what it sounds like now. Pretty clean, right? So now we'll hear that in context with the drum set. Pretty good. And then at this step, you would then copy that or do the same process throughout the session. Now you can either work your way down to where he hits the toms again and repeat the process, or you can highlight it, hold option, and drag the same region you made down. Now all you gotta do is highlight it and extend it for where he hits more toms, which is here. Now as well, we can move on to the second one. Select Tom 2. Looks like he has one off the top too. Make our selection again with our command to use our marquee tool. Click on it. Pull down the left side, then pull down the right side. And again, we'll make our desired curve by moving these buttons around. Now again, we have to pull this this way. And again, a little bleed is okay, but we just wanna tighten it all up. So now I'll take that same thing again, option, drag it over. Zoom in. Now in this case, Extend that out a little bit. 
Now let's hear those together with the drum track. Pretty cool. Now let's add our rooms back in. Pretty natural. And then we would go through and do this for the rest of the song. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a Factory Underground Tech quick tip video. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and feel free to comment to let us know what you might like us to cover in the future. For more information about us and our program, please visit us at factoryundergroundtech.com. <laughs>